and we're doing this for the government. So let's make those 4,000 foot winds out of the southwest at four. Because four is the government. EA Sports. You know, it's in the every game. time you tell the government anything, they want to hear the number four. You know? And you make them up. Like, and we made up all the winds we got in there. And I was sitting there in kind of in awe of him. You know, this is how it's done. You know, and then we went over to the chow hall. And he was saying goodbye to all the cooks. Hey, they so say it ain't over until it's over. Let me tell you, me that this one definitely ain't over. Shots. And he and he looked palsied with fear. Then he and I got back in the truck and we went back down to the intersection between the Range Street and Range One Road, some miles back. Entering, entering, and we started the long drive down the Range One. And at first he was going more or less 40 Entering miles an hour, they were driving the streets. Teams. He kept driving slower and play slower with and play with coming friends, through the on line head to head. Road. And you couldn't turn around, you were permitted to go all the way to the drive up there just to turn the truck around. Entering at the underscore logic underscore thing on line main street. And you could see he was getting more and more afraid. And I was for a phone and estimated wait time 10 seconds. And it didn't seem like the other one to close. And I said, well, you're going to have to turn into range one just to turn the truck around. Because he was shaking with fear. We got into the gravel area and there was the control tower for range one and the skip bomb area. And I was expecting him to park the truck and take me over and unlock the chair. And he was still sitting there and he was sitting there on the truck looking out over the desert for the southeast. And he was shaking in terror. And he was saying, Do you see anything? The NFL on EA Sports has come to the Twin Cities at U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Minnesota Vikings. There's no such thing. You know, honestly, you know, the system we have, I look at the doors and I pick up the floor. I said, I want to see the inside of the world show. And he said, and I had to talk him up, and he said, okay, but I'll sit here in the car. And if I see anything, I want you to know that I'll drive in the base and find the range numbers in there, and we'll come back for you. So if I see anything, you just lock yourself in the letter shaft. The veteran kicker, course. Robbie Gold, we'll set to get us started, and we are and underway so from downtown Minneapolis. Take it at the 15, a short kick, and a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And I got the and I walked over behind me, and I walked over to the wind shaft. And the wind one wind shaft, the door was around on the southeast side. And so I walked around, and I opened up, unlocked, and I opened it up, and I looked inside. And I looked in and looked up there, and just stared quickly in the wall of it. So he was, you could see he was almost on the verge of leaving. And it was obvious that nobody had been on the wind shaft for like four or three or four months. First play and a first pass for Cousins. And complete right side to Cook. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing. They were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there. Those guys see the lights from their assignments. Finish it. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that'll make it third and 13. And I. And I thought, well, gee, only a helicopter could do that, because, and, but you couldn't hear any helicopter sounds. And then in the barracks, strange things would happen. And not an easy like, spot here, better, and they'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the and first. And night I found myself waking up, 
The keeper nets him only a yard, and that's going to bring up four. And give him credit. That's a good, solid game there with the snake because it all comes together. Enough space, get forward, gain yardage. Well done. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. McLeod to return it. That'll be a 50-yard punt with eight on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and ten. Ready to fire on me. And I was so shocked, I couldn't think of anything but just keep walking. And for a dream, this was kind of, you know, it was becoming... Terrified, it was sinking in. And I decided that the safest thing I could do, and I was, was to go back to bed and go back to sleep, and then maybe my brain would get back to normal. Nobody killed me yet. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners running. up yeah. here first and the ten at their own 28-yard line. a play fake as they set up to throw and that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver that's probably one he wishes he had back he wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes what 9.9 .9 times out of 10 just missed that one i what looked to be a little high field run past on the open. It looked like the same question about the play action. Garoppolo. And that would get the off target and incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping to come through on this play and get the series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. On play action, now Garoppolo. He gets this one to Davis Price, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of four, not enough, and it looks like punt time on their opening drive as it's fourth down. Well, able to get the completion, but unfortunately not able to get the third down conversion there on that play. And I like how the defense approached that when they knew where the first down marker was, and they decide whatever you want to have, you can. You're just not going to get the first down. Excellent tackling right there. And one of them put out a real short sign that was off in my right. And the little girl stopped running. They'll go and for it. It's Garoppolo. He'll buy some time right. And this is caught, and but they say out of bounds. It would have been a first down, but he couldn't stay in. And as a result, they're going to have to and give so up the football. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and you know, normally we focus on the media, right? The social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Because I think the team's going to look at my coach. Well, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You owe us some explanations. Second down, they go right back to Cook. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And the shock I felt can hardly be described. I heard all these metal arc sounds. I kind of turned around and put my back to her so that I could control my own fear. And I kind of started to Now I'm taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Uh, and, and I was just saying, I'm a weatherman. I'm over here in the weather shack. If you need some water, I have it. If you're lost, just come to where I am. On second down, Cook. 
And he gets it down close to the 10 yard line. Well, in an eight yard gain, much better shape now on third and just a yard. That's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball, the ones in the huddle doing the chirping, right now I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9 yard line. They pick it up on third and one on the quarterback sneak, and that's not easily done because there are extra bodies in there on the defensive side, and they're moving forward at the snap. Yeah, I was certainly expecting a handoff, weren't you? Yeah, I totally was. I thought they'd go with a back, maybe try and get a lead blocker in front. But as you talk about in different games, those guys with confidence in their offensive line, they just want to move forward and get it. Here we go now on first and goal. They'll run with Cook, and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. No score after one on EA Sports. And now it's second down, but here's the field goal team out onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Joseph is good, and the Vikings have a three nothing lead. Both teams kind of feeling each other out here, and now after three drives, we have a score for that field goal. Yeah, there's no way for the breakout drive to come to them, all right? They're using the playbook well. They're looking for that extra section that says touchdowns instead of field goals. But they'll take the three for now and try and get set up for more later. Of course, the guy who's talking to my friend when I was talking to Anelis noted the static too. So we hung up with my hand still on the phone. I looked up straight north for the field. I was just a little bit to the left. And standing out there, just this side of the field, like, just standing there in an ordinary nylon-type ski suit kind of thing with boots, and she was obviously listening to what I'd been saying on the field. The 49er offense set to get this drive so underway. Kind of a lucky course. break on the prior but drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't the come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so. Maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And once she got just close to the edge of the corner, she put both feet together and jumped like a base runner running for second base. So I decided that I need to walk over carefully and see if she was still behind the range three lines. Now a play fake, Garoppolo, sliding out of the pocket, looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. As soon as I saw a break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. On play action, it's Garoppolo. Blitz coming and down he goes. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. Oh, free safety blitz, that can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. I didn't say anything. Yeah, that would be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. Oh, it's a wobbler here. 
my mother said I could read it And so we started to move forward. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. They've shown very little offensively to this point. Well, neither team has, really. And they come up here now first down. They start the drive with Cole. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. That runs successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it, and that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people down the field. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. The run only got a yard here, second and nine. As I sat there, I realized there was no problem. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As soon as he leaked out and began his rally, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. And it half hypnotized him. It didn't hypnotize me the way he thought it did. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. To the bow, Cousins. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up four. In case I can. And marched me in there. All I could see were the bare walls for perhaps a half hour. And this was, you know, had so on for fourth down, time. on is the and punter the Ryan Wright. Said, said to the others that he was going to show them the rest of Indian Springs base. He wanted to show them the aircraft repair thing. Harry was walking me back. And this is going to hit the goal really? line and so continue on in the end zone much. for a touchback. As I was walking towards the bridge, I now realized I was completely unhypnotized, and I was now had my own my own feelings. And I was really confused as to what was going on. Was I dreaming or was this real? And down the road, the bird colonel had dropped back, and he saw me. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Rolling to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. This tall white lady in the suit 
But not touching me, but the bridge they are removing my soul to look to the thread like to see what I was looking at. But the pleasant smile on the face. I'm right here. I think I'm alone. I have no warning. I haven't heard anything. That's so complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. Like right and he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looked like defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse, still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. So I finished what I was doing, and then I turned around. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Like maybe as far away as this team, and he's just looking at me smiling. She seemed to have an atomic alert. Her skin was as far as a piece of paper. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Good time by Chandon Sullivan. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it. And that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half end. And she had on a suit. And it's just that because she was floating, like so the suit gave her the power to level her. I First down, here's the run with Cole. Stop short of the 25 of that second effort. Got him a couple extra. Eight yards, the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Here's Cook again. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. 52 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, but guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. You have to have total control of what you're going to do next in order to come back alive. Even if you're just jumping into your own shadow, and some might say, yeah. <laughs> and, and so, on the one hand, it was a very pleasant experience. Mm -hmm. Final play but of the half, Cousins. I, I felt tremendous. This will come right around the six. Yeah, the Vikings are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two 